Hey there, Bruins fans. Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. The Boston Bruins have re-signed defenseman Stephen Camper to a two-year contract with an AAV of $800,000. i am here to give you my thoughts on the deal, what this means for the Bruins, and what it means for Stephen Camper. Figure we should start things off with the stats. Stephen Camper is a 5'11 right shot defenseman. We know how much the Bees love their 5'11 guys based on the draft results. He's only 30 years old, and this is his second time around with the Boston Bruins. He's a bit of a journeyman defenseman, kind of helping out here and there, always being the 7th D. He's played 201 games in the NHL, scoring 13 goals, 19 assists for a total of 32 points. Last season with the Bruins, he played in 35 games, getting 3 goals, 3 assists for a total of 6 points. And he played 3 playoff games this playoff, scoring 1 goal against Carolina. Now you might be thinking right off the bat that why would you sign this guy? Why wouldn't you just give the opportunity to a younger kid like a Connor Clifton, who played just as much as Camford did at the end of the year, or Jeremy Lozon, or Zaborl, or Avakinainen? We don't don't really need this guy. Well, I'm going to start off with the leadership ability that this guy has. He is a locker room favorite. He's one of those guys who's going to be scratched for a majority of the season, but he doesn't mind. And that is really helpful for a team, especially a team that's going to make a long run like the Bruins hope to. Once again, you need these guys to be okay with, hey, when you play, you play. And when Steven Camper plays, he plays. And when you don't, you have to be okay with it and still be with the boys and still rooting for the team and still want success for the team, for the logo on your jersey instead of just for yourself. And Camper can really do that for the Boston Bruins. He's also a great mentor to the younger guys. He's been there. 200 games is not a lot, but it's more than five or 10 or one that Vakaninen has played. So that will make a difference to the younger kids. You also have to accept the fact that the Boston Bruins have not had the healthiest blue line over the past couple of years. If you're looking at your current top six, every single one of them has had injuries. McAvoy, Carlo, Chara, Crew, Grizzlick, Miller, all of them have been out, some for longer stretches of time than others. Carlo finally made the playoffs this season. Seems like Kevin Miller's always out for a long period of time. Char is only getting older. We always talk about that. So it's not a bad idea to have a veteran defenseman who, like I said, can step right in and play just as good as if he played 20 games in a row. You need that because your blue line can get pretty scary. If 3D go down and suddenly you have three guys up from the AHL, those are going to be some scary games. And no matter how talented these kids are, like Vakaninen, I think is going to be good for us. But I don't think they're just going to automatically throw him into the top six. In fact, I don't even think he'll make the team right away. I think they want them to play high-level minutes in the AHL, top D pair, penalty kill, power play, all situations get used to a better fast-paced game close to the NHL, as close as you can be, and then call them up. So Camper's fine being the scratch guy. You scratch him instead of one of your younger guys. Let them play, and then when they're ready, you call them up. Overall, what does this mean for the Boston Bruins moving forward? Well, for starters, it leaves us with a little over $12 million in cap space, around 12.2. But you still have to re-sign McAvoy, Carlo, Heinen. If you want to bring back guys like Achari and Johansson as UFAs, that money goes away really quick. Quickly. So it also gives you the opportunity to trade a defenseman if you want to. I've heard Kevin Miller's name out there. I've heard John Moore's name out there. Personally, I would keep Moore. I thought he played good for us in the playoffs. I thought he played good for us all season. He was kind of thrown in there, and he's not really used to that. He's used to being in the top six the whole year, so I think he was getting adjusted to that. He's not making too much money, and you just signed him to a five-year contract, so it would be a little silly, but not unheard of, to trade him right now. I love Kevin Miller's physical play. He is a Bruin, man. Those big hits, I love it. Plays hard, blocks those shots, much like an Adam McQuaid, sacrificing his body literally every year, breaking bones to make sure the puck doesn't go in the net. But if you can move his cap hit, which is a little over $2 million, he's only signed for one more year. I'm not sure they would re-sign him anyway. Then I would definitely take that money if it means keeping a guy or adding a right wing in the UFAs. 
that would be really good for the Bruins. So it kind of becomes pointless to sign Camper though, if he's going to end up slotting into your top six to begin with. Maybe they think one of those kids is ready to go, but it definitely opens up an opportunity to trade someone in the top six if you think you need to. I like the deal. Like I said before, if you're getting a seventh defenseman, this is what you're spending on them anyway. So you might as well bring in a guy who's comfortable with the room, who can shoot the puck. If someone goes down, I'm fine seeing Steven Camper thrown into the lineup. And I'm also fine that it makes the young guys battle for a spot that it says to a guy like Vakaninen, who I think is going to be a future star for us. Hey, you're not going to make the lineup right away. This guy's probably ahead of you just because he's played in more games. So you got to work for it. I like that aspect of it. We're just under a week away from July 1st. The free agency craziness of the NHL is coming shortly. We still have the McAvoy contract, Carlo contract, Heinen. See who we bring back. See if we bring anyone in. See if any trades are made. So I'm really excited. This is a good first move for Don Sweeney and the Boston Bruins. If you enjoyed the video and you're excited to have Stephen Camper back on the roster, make sure to give this video a big like. And if you haven't already, subscribe.